Welcome back to my channel. This is Naja here, the head baking in charge of the Baking Bit Squad. Today's video is going to be me talking about my October investing budget with me plan for the month. So if you have not already done your October investing planning for this month, go ahead and get your Excel spreadsheet, get your pen and paper, or get your tablet and go ahead and follow along with me as I show you exactly what my plans are for this month. If you have not already done so, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to all so that you can get all the updates that I provide you regarding my investing plan. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So for this month, and you guys will see a recap of September's dividends and how we shaped up for the month of September a little bit later on this week. If you have not already seen the video where I've talked about how my paycheck was messed up for this month, I will go ahead and link that up here in the eye in the sky so that you can catch up on that because this may alter a little bit regarding my investing but this is initially what I'm going to put down. So for the month of October, let me just zoom in just a little bit, I have a goal amount of a thousand dollars that I plan on investing. This is outside of my teacher retirement system account which automatically comes out every single month. One of my first money goals for the month is to contribute $750 to my Roth IRA. When I do this, I will be probably $500 away from maxing out my Roth IRA. I have never been able to max out my Roth IRA before, so I'm pretty excited that this year I'm actually going to be doing that. So stay tuned for after I max out my IRA where that money will go for the rest of the year. Second money goal that I have is for Robinhood to put $250 into fractional share accounts that I have. I have about 23 um, ETFs and stocks in that particular brokerage account with Robinhood. And so I want to make sure that I'm building those up because those are my dividend accounts that I have. Also, number three for the money goal is to be intentional with earning extra money this month. You guys will see in my September 2023 extra earnings income video how I did not do a whole lot on my own. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I explain that in the video. So for here, I put some of the pre-tax investing and after-tax investing is Fundrise, M1, TRS, Robinhood, Vanguard, Vanguard Roth, Savings Account, and Fidelity. Notes to self, I want to... Go ahead and make sure that I'm always remembering that my next goal is $100,000 invested. We are almost about halfway there, kind of, sort of. You know, the market is playing. The market is doing what the market is doing. So right now, I'm still continuing to dollar cost average. I'm still continuing to invest. I'm not allowing the market to scare me off. I am pretty much in this for the long haul. And I do want to say that I'm not a financial counselor. Please make sure that you do your own due diligence regarding that. I will have a video that's coming out talking about how you can get started as someone that is just beginning to invest with little money because I was there. Trust me, I was there. 2016, I was there. And I'm actually going to show you my portfolio accounts that show you that I was there and how much I was investing um, at that time and where I'm at right now. Also, for the money affirmation, we have it's never if, it's always when. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I always say that, especially when I was paying off my mortgage. And then what I'm reading, watching, listening to, lots of research regarding keywords and tags and SEO because I do want to get better with that so that my videos can get out there to more people. I feel like I'm starting to understand it a little bit more, but you know, there's always room for growth and I've been having uh, some people that have been sharing with me some different things that they have done and things that they have learned and things that other people have shared with them as well. So I'm trying to share that knowledge with other people that I know also so that they can grow their channels. That is the investing plan that I have for the month of October. And so, like I said, things may change depending on if I actually receive all of my pay for the month of October. Again, check out that video if you have not already seen that one. But I feel pretty confident regarding October and some things that are shaping up for the month. So if you guys happen to enjoy this video, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Have you already made out your investing plans? Did you make out your investing plans with me as I went along? 
this particular workbook, the investing workbook, you can find down in my description box as well as I will leave it as a pinned comment. I did get this from Mommy Trader. I won it in a giveaway. But this has been instrumental in me tracking my dividends, my earnings, my plans, my goals, being intentional. I have used this workbook for a year now. Have a great day and I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.